Hmm. What time is it? 4.13 in the morning? It's probably not even 4.13. Clock is fast. Probably like 4.07 in the morning. 4.07 in the morning. And, uh, I think tonight, I finally came to realization about what's really going on. I just realized, here's my other charger cord I've been looking for, sitting on the table the whole entire time. But we ain't gonna talk about that. But I finally realized, after 31 years, what the hell is going on when it comes to me. Uh, I ain't gonna do that. But I think I finally have the epiphany. I was born in the wrong decade. I really was. I was really was born in the wrong decade. I should have been born in 1990. I should have been born in 1970, 1960, maybe even 1950. I can be a seven year old right now because my mind right now, I may be 31 years old, but I became old before I became old or becoming old, I should say, because to most people, 31 years old, it's not old, it's still young. But for me, my mentality was 31 years old at age 18, 20. Now I was at age 40, at 31. And I can't do the epiphany right now. Not right now, but a couple hours ago. And I think sometimes alcohol can be a good thing. Maybe it can be a good thing. A mixture of alcohol and... Let me turn this camera around this way. Maybe a mixture of alcohol and atmosphere can really bring on a type of changing. And the reason why I realized I should have been born in a different um, decade or era, I keep looking at my damn car sitting right here, my McLaren sitting right here. Um, this camera's been down, I can't get it without, can't even get it's been a goofy ass video so far. I ain't starting it over. Uh, so, it only takes a little bit of alcohol and a little bit of freaking going out with the young people to realize who you truly are. I realize I ain't cut out for this, this modern world at all. I ain't cut out. I think I realized that we're not just today, tonight, or this morning, whatever you want to call it. Just this whole entire week, starting from actually a week ago. And I realized I should have been born in a different decade. This ain't my decade. Or this ain't mine. This ain't my time. This is modern times. These modern. Some of y'all, 30. Shoot. I can't even say 30 or younger. 31 or younger. Because some of y'all, 31 and up, are just as, just as goofy as the freaking 31 and under. I'm going to have to say this. Some of the stuff I have seen in the past two weeks are even proud. I can't even label it just the past two weeks. I can believe it all the way back until a year or even more than that. The lack, and I say this a lot, the lack of accountability is astonishing with the young folk. It makes me not want to be associated with anybody younger than me or even around my age. Because some of y'all lack accountability big time. I don't get it. Why is it so hard to admit that you're wrong or maybe sometimes they admit you did something wrong? Why is it so hard? Is it pride with some of y'all? Or some of y'all just don't know what between white, sound like Bugs Bunny, between right and wrong really is anymore. Y'all, some of y'all just screwed up in the brain now that y'all don't know what right and wrong is anymore. Like, I, I really joke. I don't want to joke, but I really don't believe when some people say there's fluoride in the water. I don't think that's conspiracy anymore. I think that's really true. Cause some of the, some of y'all been drinking that tap water and it's fried your brain to the point you guys can't even think anymore. It's ridiculous. It's what I experience. It's just not so much. It's just little things I have observed recently. It really is. I, I can't even call her a friend. I don't even want to call her a friend, but. I guess a friend of Full McCormick or whatever her name is, whatever she is to me anymore. I really think of her nothing anymore because she is 
Let me get to it though. I still understand how, just to share a little story. How do you get engaged to somebody within a month, a week, whatever, overseas, try to marry a dude, break up with a dude because he's nothing but a low down loser. And then you come back to the States and you try to, no, you not try. You want to date the guy's best friend that you was engaged to and think nothing wrong with it. And then you try to keep on a download from the best friend or from the ex fiance that you had. Something psychologically wrong with these women. Why would you try to date the best friend to the guy you just freaking broke off the engagement with? Something psychologically wrong with these damn women these days. I don't get it. And these dudes are just as bad as the women. Because they're not going to say all dudes and all women. But something all just like, I sit there and be like this the whole time. Like, y'all hurt my brain with your stupidity. And I don't, I don't get modern society anymore. I really don't. And then some of y'all wonders, I'm going, to, I'm going to go after the women first. This is not bashing women. This is just observing and calling out the, some of the dumbass stuff I see on a daily basis from women. Some of y'all. That's another thing I just don't get. Some of y'all go after the same type of dude that dumped you before. Or you go after the same type of dude. I'm not even going after the same type of dude. You go after the same dude. Even though this guy either has a girlfriend of his own. Or he's dealing with five different women at the same time. But you guys go after that same dude. Thinking you're going to freaking become the one for that dude. When that dude not even looking forward to dating any of them five. He just try to get his fix in. But y'all keep going to the same. I don't get it. That's why I say I, I don't belong in this modern society anymore. I need to go somewhere else. And I just see, my guy went out tonight. I just see some of the goofiness. Some of the other goofiness. I don't get it. Especially in the black community, y'all just be going to the freaking Poogie and Rayways like that. Maybe that's because that's all you know. At this point in time, regular black folk like us, they got something going for them. We don't even want these type of women anymore that went for the Poogie and Rayways. But the ones that are going for the Poogie and Rayways are the ones that are raised in two parent households, went to college and did all this stuff. They don't want nothing to do with the same people. The same type of dudes that did the same thing they did with the college that came from a two-parent phone home. They want to go to the chaos. That's because women love chaos, of course. But they want to go to the chaos. Even though they've been warned from day one, don't go to the chaos. They got their dad so don't go to the chaos. Don't go to the chaos. Meaning don't try to date them hood-ass dudes because they ain't going to do nothing for you. Here they go. I'm looking that way. Oh, my goodness hurts my brain and then, then y'all just keep proving me right for both men and women y'all just keep proving me right and y'all simps out there are the worst y'all simps keep letting this happen datas simps super simps y'all keep listening to these idiot simps who are celebrities they just as simple as just the regular people Steve Harvey people like that John Legend it's like god no wonder why your young folk it's not even I can't even say it's a young folk. It's the older people, too. The older people, the older than me, they just as freaking clownish as ever. They full of the clown world. They the ones freaking enabling in the young generation to do this. Because there's no like, lack of accountability. The generation, not even generation, people older than me from 31 to probably 40, even 50, they never had a sense of lack of, I mean, they never have a sense of accountability. What do you think they're teaching these kids out there? Who's coaching these kids out here? I don't get it. They got dudes out here. Fully married. Fully married. Got kids. Fully married. Got the whole family. Still one out here looking for women. Looking for this. 
looking for more women. They don't care about the kids. Don't care about the wife that they married to. I know. Let's say, probably what they call it. I can't even think of it right now. I can't even think of it right now. Biologically, men are not made to be for one woman. Supposedly, they may be for whatever the woman, but I can't. Even, I can't even deal with multiple women. Especially at the story I just told. I just don't get it. Then they get mad when you try to tell them. When you, they get mad when you try to tell them. Oh, maybe that may be the best thing to have multiple women on top of your marriage because that can backfire you. But you, you don't know anything. All right. Your ass get divorced. You you get divorced. Now you're on your own. I told you. I warned you not to go there. And then some of the, I've I been experimenting sometimes with the dating app sometimes just to see what's really on, what's really going on. And God, my brain goes to the bush looking at some of these. I'm like, y'all want tall and tattoos. It's not, I'm not going to say it's not many tall and tattoos out there. But sheesh, tall and tattoos, most of them dudes are already gone off the market already. None of the dudes could be basketball players, football players. What chance you got? You coming out there looking like a roly poly. Looking like freaking Kung Fu Panda. Looking like Penguin from Batman Returns. What chance do y'all get? And then y'all be saying one of the curving freaking regular dudes. Then you bet much better than them. But you looking at looking out here looking like Penguin. Once again from Batman Returns. Yes, watch Batman Returns and watch Penguin. Look how he's shaped in the form. Y'all, some of y'all shaped like killer whales out here. Y'all think he got the nerves to freaking decide who's going to do what. Pitiful out here. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with these kids these days? And then my mom talking about out here, expect me to find something out here. I ain't going to find nothing out here because ain't nothing out here. I see it's trash out here these days. Utter trash. Because nobody ain't teaching these kids nothing. Thank God for people who are trying to, but I don't think it's even working. They know you can do so much. Hmm. I knew at age 10, I knew what was going to happen to me to 20 years later. I knew how everything was going to turn out. Kept thinking everything was going to be, it don't have to be that way. Oh, it is that way now. It really is. I think from now on, I think from now on, they say probably 80% of men out there from all races, they're not undateable, but they won't be dating. They won't be interested in that. They'll be off the market, off the grid, out of the, just out, totally out of the freaking modern society altogether. I think I'm already that way already. I think I want to be that way already because this world, it's sad. It really is. But you can't tell people, it's hard to tell people that the world's sad and all this other stuff that I just mentioned because these are the same type of people that thought a man in office for four years was the worst thing possibly on earth because they really truly believe than an entity that I will not say its name, so I don't want to get freaking clocked out of here, but an entity, they really convinced by an entity that this man was the worst thing possible thing on earth. And now that he's gone, oh, we got the worst thing possibly on earth, and then a whole bunch of his cronies now. This modern wave, fourth wave feminism has really ruined everything. And sin also. Sin is the biggest thing. Fourth wave modern feminism is all together in liberal. Liberalism is all just nothing but sin. This generation is so emotional. So soft. It's so soft. It's not even funny. We need safe spaces. We need safe spaces. That's what happens when you create safe spaces in college. You get soft ass motherfuckers out here. And don't can't even freaking 
what they can do. They can't freaking cook their own meals. Can't even cook ramen noodle out here. That's what happened. I hate cursing, but it just had to come out. But shoot. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm about done with my society. I went out big time. Mm-hmm. It's over. It really is. Some people will not realize it till they hit him right in the face, but it's over for everybody. That's all I gotta say. I'm done. I mean, the only optimistic part about life right now is hopefully there is a higher power out there and all I gotta say is I have more faith in the higher power so I haven't even seen it in humans people I really do but I'm done I'm done ranting raving that's all I gotta say